Hi, it's Monica back again with the second part of uh, week five and six. I know I went on a bit of a tangent there, but uh, I can, as you can probably think that it's pretty upsetting for the information that I found out. Anyways, moving on to regular blog, I am, like I said, 201 pounds, um, and I'm going into my week seven of the back to normal redo. And um, I just want to let you guys know a bit of an update here. Um, so it's been seven months. I started the Dr. Bernstein's um, October 31st, 2009. Uh, it's almost seven months to date. Uh, and I have lost a total of 44 pounds. It seems great and it's a lot of weight, but in seven months, um, a lot of things have happened, as you can probably imagine. Um, I was basically strict for two and a half months in the beginning, lost a huge chunk of my weight. Um, then I went on vacation to Vegas, and then there was Olympics, and there was lots of sickness in between. Uh, and basically, in between all that, I lost another 10 pounds, so making it 44 pounds. Um, now, I've made a goal for myself for within the year, again, for October 31st, 2010, to get to 180 pounds, which I think is attainable. Um, it's another 20 pounds or so. Uh, for, I have another you know, five months. If I got less and got to 165 pounds, which was my goal weight in the first place, um, and that would be fantastic, but I'm not going to, you know, set such high goals and, and so that I can't attain them and, you know, get stressed out and sad and disappointed. So I am disappointed that it's been seven months and I've only lost 44 pounds. If I was strict, straight strict, no vacations, no illness for probably five months, I would be at 165 pounds, but that's not life, unfortunately. So many things have happened to me. Again, I'm the big poster child for things that can go wrong and cheating and vacationing. Um, so, but now I am strict at 201 and it's been seven months and I'm hoping to get to that 180 mark. Uh, and within the year and of course I'll keep you updated and keep going um, and because I basically decided to, if I get to 180 or even 165 that I'm not going to put in the money anymore to go and be at the clinic I'm going to do the home edition um, at some point here basically beginning of September I think I'm going to stop being at the clinic regardless of where my weight is and try doing that home edition because it should give me enough discipline enough time to get to the point where I can do the home edition successfully so I just wanted to let you guys all know that. And of course, I'll still be blogging and such. So that's that update. And okay, so I have a kind of a new little thing that I'm doing is um, I work night shifts, meaning 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. So I've had to figure out like a food schedule, like I told you, proteins or vegetables or fruits before and after work and uh, right after at 6 a.m. and before I go to sleep, you know, what's good for my stomach, what's not good for my stomach. And again, all that big drama with the processed food and what I should have, and what I can't have. Anyways, so um, what it is, is every morning I go with my dog uh, at 7 a.m. after I've worked and walk 10 laps around a track, come home and do, um, you know, some leg routine, some, a lot of toning exercises for about 20 minutes, and then I make this lovely omelet, which I will show you in my food thing that I eat in the morning, which is delicious, I have no complaints, and it's light, and it's good to, because uh, then I have to go to sleep after I can't have a heavy, heavier meal. Anyway, so then uh, before work at about 8.30, I go to the gym and I actually have like a harder workout with the machines or routines and then I go have a yoga class or I do a class, you know, whatever. So I'm kind of essentially doing a bit of cardio or moving um, twice in a day. Uh, and I also walk about 5K, 10,000 steps at work uh, alone because uh, I'm, you know, I'm walking around the OR rooms and uh, setting everything up and making everything in order. And uh, so I walk a lot and I think that's going to be helping me. And if I get this processed food and salt uh, under control, I'm hoping that my weight will start to drop off again uh, quickly uh, so that I don't get too discouraged to, to not do it and want to go into a funk. Um, but otherwise that's all for today and I'm going to put out a food, one, uh, food tips, uh, right now and, uh, I have a few different ideas of what I can do and what I'm going to do in the comment section is list off the things that I have pictures and recipes for. So if you want to pick and choose one that you would like to see or have um, access to, then I can email it out because I've, I've put it in a document so it's all there and easy to email out to people. Um, and again, I'm, I'm working around the food and again, be really, really diligent on realizing what your body is responding to. On the diet, your body is sensitive to a lot of things, sugar, salt, water, everything so make sure you need to figure out what works for you so if 
you can have crackers all the time and that works and a piece of bread would send you over the edge like a, the cracker sent me over the edge. I mean, you need to know that so that um, when you choose and pick and choose suggestions of what I what I make or of what I've uh, developed, what you can make, you know, just really watch your body of what it does. And if it's, if it's making you feel good and you're still losing weight and there's no problems, then hey, you know, that that's fantastic and, and continue on. Um, but anyways, I just want to make sure to stress and keep everyone aware of their body. And again, simply ask a ton of questions at the clinic if you're there and keep asking because obviously it took seven months of my asking uh, to get some sort of right answers or even something just to develop to figure it out uh, a little bit late, but better late than never. So I hope this blog, these both of these blogs have helped you and I hope everyone's doing fantastic and I will see you in food tips. Bye.